All right, I'm once again on the road. I guess I'll make my destination a little bit of a surprise because it was kind of a surprise to me as well. I was looking to see which Airbnb would respond to me first and which uh, I also contacted a few people on Facebook Marketplace. And um, I, I really had no destination in mind. So it was a surprise to me and I guess by extension, I'll make it a surprise to you guys as well. But during my trip, on the road right now, I got into a situation that kind of taught me an important life uh, metaphor that if you don't use a life skill that you have, you may lose it. So along the way, I, my camera kept disappearing. The camera that I'm using to record this right now kept disappearing. I mean, I'm moving all my worldly possessions. So you can imagine a camera can easily disappear amongst all this luggage, right? My cell phone wasn't disappearing. My, my computer wasn't disappearing. I drank a lot of tea when I um, go on intermittent fasting. I had, I started the trip with four two liter bottles of tea. That didn't disappear from me either. And, but my camera kept wanting to play hide and seek with me. One moment it was in the trunk. Another moment it was in a backpack. Another moment it was in the center console. Another moment it was in between some clothes. Another moment it was in a, in a, in a pants pocket. It kept disappearing from me. And the reason it kept disappearing from me, my cell phone didn't disappear. The reason was that I was using my cell phone the whole time. I, I, I put the camera away because there wasn't really much to shoot. We had a bright sunny day. I sometimes like to shoot the clouds. Bright sunny day, we're close to a new moon. Uh, they're, they're, uh, I'm out in the city, you can't really see any of the star constellations. None of the planets are really out. Really nothing to see, so I, I didn't use my camera the whole time. But I had to keep tabs on which Airbnb was responding to me. I had questions for them. I had clients who, I, I, I do private tutoring. I had clients who were looking for me. So my cell phone was never far from my thoughts, right? I'm sometimes guilty of, of texting while driving, but uh, I try not to do it. But when, when I have this much on my mind, I'm, I, I am guilty of that sometimes, I got to admit. Uh, so it wasn't too far from my mind. Actually, I, I never got in trouble with texting and driving. The, the one time I did get pulled over was um, I saw some cloud formations on the road and I opened my window to, to shoot uh, the, the cloud formations and uh, I got a very stern warning about that. Uh, but, but I never got caught texting and driving. That's how funny it is. It's the camera that got me in trouble. All right, um, but it really goes to show that if you don't use your life skills, they may atrophy. Let me give you an example. This past year, or this these past two years, I made two big New Year's resolutions. First in 2020, to normalize my relationship with food. I had some trouble with, not necessarily binge eating, but compulsive eating. I would get into a thought process of what, what food I want to get, and I couldn't easily jump out of it, no matter what was going on around me. You could have had a fire alarm blaring, and I still would be uh, busy eating. You could have had a, you know, we need to evacuate because of somebody has COVID. I, I wouldn't have heard you. That's how compulsive my eating was at the time. You could have had something pleasant, right? right? My girlfriend comes over, hey, let's, let's, let, let's go and um, I'm in the middle of a meal and I, I wouldn't have heard her. That's how crazy it was. I lost a job over my compulsive eating, if you can believe it. And um, I also had uh, intense phobia to loud noises and flashing lights. I also lost another job to that, if you can believe that. And um, I uh, sometimes when I take a break from doing those resolutions, I atrophy a lot. Uh, sometimes I need to cheat because I have something going on, right? I, I, something at my job requires me. I had a conference I was going to and then I had to work during the day. Uh, the conference was in Taiwan, so it was at nighttime here. And so I had a couple 18 hour days like that. I obviously wasn't eating right. Um, but I tell myself it's only gonna be one week. It never turns out that way. There's a huge learning curve at the end of that week. Two weeks ago, I went to view the lunar eclipse. Obviously, I cheated. I, I needed to keep myself up the whole night. And so taking lots of uh, Lara bars for the, you know, for the natural sugars to, to kind of just keep me up. 
uh, unfortunately, there's a huge learning curve. Even a one-day cheat like that, it's never one day. It's kind of like if you if you've messed up your if you were jet lagged, right? It, jet lag is not a one one day event if you fly to Taiwan, right? It kind of feels like that, right? Or I, I take time away from my loud environments, which I was kind of forced to back in uh, December, January, or we, we went back to phase uh, one of the COVID-19 lockdowns. Huge learning curve at the end of that, right? Now, the day will come when whether or not I keep my job or even my, my, my sanity is going to depend on me having a normal relationship with food and with loud environments. And uh, my, it, I learned a valuable lesson today that it, what, what you don't use you have you, you you have a risk of losing right use it or lose it thanks for watching